Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, ati Rasul, ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajis, a da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. And alhamdulillah that Surah Al Kahf is an immense ocean of realities. And alhamdulillah that technologies that are coming are explaining the Divinely Kingdom. Its use of it may not be appropriate on dunya but its purpose was to explain the Heavenly Kingdom. Those whom understand these technologies and now even children by one, two years old are understanding, by ten years old they're able to make entire graphic productions for schools and projects. So they're already coming with this code in their reality. And the purpose of teaching it, it shows Allah's kingdom. In the last days thy kingdom come and Allah's will will be done. And that's with the arrival of these heavenly souls and heavenly personalities and the hukum and the government of the heavens begins to open upon this earth. The technology shows everything. This concept that some mentioned of quantum entanglement and then when you make your tafakkur and contemplate that now Allah is giving for these scientists to understand this malakut, this world of light that awliya teach and tariqahs propagate. And not to be too technical but they found that certain particles entangle. Like in the physical world relationships and they call entanglement that you're so involved in your relationship of love with your spouse, your children, you're in every aspect of their life they found similar in the atomic and particle level. That if these particles come together and get entangled they found no matter the distance close or far what happens to one can be immediately seen on the other. Their quantum, their light reality, quantum means the study of light. Their light reality they're mimicking these particles they understood. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Particles and atoms and molecules come together with bonds and the strongest of bonds is love, not lust, love. And what Prophet gave to us, Allah gave to us quantum, kuntum in tuhibunullah fatabiyuni kuntum, tell them if they want my love fatabiyuni to follow you and I will love them. They will be entangled in the Divine reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah the original entanglement. This is the secret of our whole existence that Muhammadun Rasulullah powered by La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah by itself we are not there. 
we don't exist at that level. Our existence, because you're not in La ilaha illallah, it's a phrase that is self-explanatory. La ilaha illallah means nothing but Allah Where we existed is the entanglement in which Allah brought the particles of Sayyidina Muhammad and gives to us, فَتَّبِعُونِي Follow this relationship and reality of light and it will dress you in its entanglement. As Allah is dressing with the love He has for Prophet is dressing Allah dressing the reality of Prophet hence giving its qudra and its power. Giving then, in Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabi Allah's zikr is now that power, its entanglement is the whole movement of this ocean coming together and everything manifesting from that. In the world of light when you come and form a bond of love the light that you bring because no longer we're talking physical but as soon as you have a bond of love with somebody their light is coming and being entangled within yours, diffused within your lights. This is still the world of form because light has a form, you're seeing it. But deeper than the light there's an energy. And in the energy are these particles and atoms, that's why we don't see atoms, we see light. But where there's light there are atoms, where there are atoms there are energies. So when the sense of madad is coming, what's happening? Is that you're calling for a light, you're calling for this reality and lights to come and you're hoping that your light will be entangled, mixed and diffused. And its secret to keep it is love, it's the strongest bond. So these molecular scientists know that there's a bond that has to take place and the strongest is, is and the most natural understanding is love. The entanglement of parents and children and loved ones, spouses and dear ones, relatives is love. It's the purest entanglement. So you feel what your loved one feels, you sense what they sense if they're in danger, you sense the danger. This is just material dunya. And what Allah wants for us because the scientists once they start because the kingdom is coming there's no more going to hide everything. You can't hide a reality. And if ignorant people want to hide then the scientists are saying, no this guy's talking the truth. We found at a scientific level these particles are communicating. And if they entangle themselves Reactions will occur regardless of their distance together, could be very far away, happens here, happen there. What Prophet Wasallam's hadith of entanglement? You be with whom you love. And that was the formula for entanglement. And why Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq got up and started spinning? From that spin Mevlevis took the reality of sama because each wanted to now show advanced sciences. So the Mevlevis immediately took from Sayyidina Abu Bakr's knowledge as salam because he started to whirl is the atomic reality. That so happy that Prophet is bringing out this knowledge and immediately took his jubba and began to whirl. Not a gesture of dance, it's forbidden this type of thing. But to show the atomic reality later a time will come they'll understand that your atoms are in an ocean 
and its movement and manipulation is going to be based on love. If you entangle your love with the wrong characters in life and then what Allah says, if they do good you'll share in the good, if they do bad you will share in the bad because you're entangled with them. Your friends, the people you want to be with Allah said, be careful for if they do good things then alhamdulillah for you, you'll share in the good. But most people the friends are not really righteous people and Allah's warning is you'll be entangled with them. The hardships they have will become your hardships in life. The sicknesses they have will be the sicknesses you have in your life, you're entangled. We're entangled in everything and Allah says, if you kill one soul as if you killed them all because that's the real internet. Above us is an ocean of lights that are all diffused. You're not operating in a vacuum by yourself. So Prophet brought for us the greatest technology, you be with whom you love, just make sure who you love is right. If you're right and you chose in life, I want the people whom love the Divine. Then I want the people whom love the Divine and now the shaykh is teaching me that they love Sayyidina Muhammad because I have to choose the one whom love the Divine in the most perfected, most beautific, most praised way. And Allah gave to me, you are the most praised one. So the title is clear. I want the love and companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad because I know if I'm entangled with that, that will bring me to the entanglement of Allah and that's what Allah gave to us from Qur'an and Ayatul Kareem, قُلْ إِنِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِي So فَاتَّبِيُونِي is your whole life has to be entangled with Prophet what you eat, how you pray, what you drink, how you drink, it's called following the sunnah. That's the fatabiyuni, that's the entanglement. You don't love from a distance, Allah just says, no, no, how you eat you follow, how you drink you follow, how you sleep you follow, how you wash you follow. Imagine now all these categories of sunnah and people can recognize that you're supposed to love Prophet more than you love yourself. Allah has you eating, drinking, sleeping, walking, talking, communicating, family, everything according to the way of Sayyidina Muhammad because this is fatabiyuni. Why? So that we can gain Allah's yuhibukumullah. If they achieve this movement in your ocean then your dress will be upon their dress. Shahidan, mubashiran wa nadiran. The Prophet's light more powerful than ours. So we're not going to be sending to Prophet because he's the far more powerful energy force but he'll begin to send his energies upon your atom and begin to change you, dress you, bless you, hudan al-muttaqeen and to guide you and becomes the immensity of Allah's guidance. So now scientists will come and prove tariqahs. Why? Because Allah is saying, there's no more time for you to keep playing and following shaitan. And you're listening to shaitan and then saying, no, no, this doesn't exist, this doesn't. And the only people who don't seem to understand science are the Muslims. Why? In the last days the Christians, Jews and Buddhists would come towards Sayyidina Mahdi why? Because they had the knowledges, they achieved these immense realities of sciences and they left it. They brought the sciences of medicine and math and anything you can think of and they left it. And now when you talk about the science and spirituality they don't want to even hear it. And when these videos go out you see in the comments or all the techs and computer scientists that are coming and logging in and say that we verify it. 
don't know who you are but what you're talking we know, we see it in the systems, we see it in our computers, we see it in the, in the particle studies and atomic studies. And that's what Allah described about numbers and everything is perfectly numbered. And that would be for the people of the book to come to guidance because in the last days they're the ones in sciences, they're the ones in all of this, God's kingdom will be evident and prevalent in everything they see. This has to do with God's kingdom and He has a control over it and if they want to join the kingdom they'll see everything else is corrupt except the non-compromising Islam. That no, no we don't uh, compromise our faith, it is according to the beloved of Allah No change, no modification, no innovation. So we want to reach to these lights, we want to be entangled into this understanding. What Allah gave to us then? Inna ladheena yubayyunaka yubayyunallah, yadallahi fawqa idihim. Take the hand. That you want to come to this reality, take the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad don't separate from it to the detriment of your soul. Because if you pull from your entanglement you don't understand how much is coming to you, right? We don't understand how much our light is mixed and all the, the ni'mat that comes to us from this love that we have. And Allah's warning, don't. Because what you wouldn't think bayad has to do with your soul. You say, okay I just leave, I do whatever I want. Those whom entered into the true religion where they found they have to have a guide, they have to take a hand so they can reach their ahad and their covenant, that was Surah Tawbah. These were the men whom reached and fulfilled their covenant and ahad with Allah you see that out of 99% of Islam nobody takes bayat anymore. So th those then become very khawas, they're guided to make their Islam real, take the hand of those who represent Sayyidina Muhammad because Allah feekum that they are amongst you these Muhammadiyoon, their hand represents the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad take it, connect. Then immediately they're teaching, entangle your light with them because now we'll use their science words. Muraqabah didn't seem to spark too much understanding for people. Meditation seems to be more like a hobby for people. So now I read this, go read the science articles, go study Google, what is quantum entanglement, simplified understandings of quantum entanglement. Quantum is the study of light and the study of entangled light and what happens. And then now think back towards my spirituality that I want to be entangled with the Divinely realities and this shaykh is teaching that and that's what's called muraqabah. How to connect, how to keep the focus of the ulul am and bring my light out asking for permission to connect to your encrypted files. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.